Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm here today with um, Sam Jones, who I, I messed up your name. And I'm here today with Sam Jones, who I um, happened to find back there trying to work. And I grabbed him and brought him here to talk to him about the new advanced voice mode with ChatGPT. So OpenAI released this roughly last week, and um, it's got some really cool new capabilities. Um, unlike the original voice mode, which does sound awesome, um, this one has the ability to convey much more emotion. They can kind of laugh and cry and cough and sneeze. And when it tells a story and it, it's narrating two characters, it will kind of do voices for those characters. There's no API for this right now, Sam, but um, you know, forward-looking, probably something will come out or maybe there's something internal. Uh, one of the really cool use cases I've been thinking of is like, let's take a customer service department and um, we wanna have some training on how to try and retain a customer who's wanting to cancel. So we could use normal voice for this or text for this. It's, you know, emotionless in some way. It's fun to introduce that kind of emotion into the conversation to help train the customer service representative. Like if someone's anxious, here's how you deal with them. If someone's irate or angry, here's how to deal with that. Um, let's do a kind of demanding customer calling to cancel. I'm working on getting better at my customer service job and something I could get better at is helping retain customers when they call in wanting to cancel, you know, offering them different deals or different packages. Um, when the customer is very confident in demanding that they want to cancel, I have a hard time with that. So can we do a little bit of role play? Sure thing. Let's do a role play where I'm the customer calling to cancel and you try to retain me. Ready? Cool. Start. Also, be, be very demanding and very adamant that you want to cancel, please. Absolutely. Let's make this challenging. Here we go. Listen, I don't want any offers or deals. I just want to cancel my subscription right now. I'm already terrified. <laughs> um, are, are you sure you want to cancel? Yes, I'm sure. I've made up my mind and I don't want to discuss it further. Just cancel my subscription, please. So you can hear how, you know, very direct. It, 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 you know, you do feel something different than just something else. Let's do, um, ignore that rest of the stuff I just said there. Let's do one more example. Call in, um, let's say you're very anxious. You think someone's broken into your account and um, I want to practice kind of getting you to calm down and give me the information that I need. Got it. Here we go. Uh, hi, I'm really worried. I think someone might have broken into my account. I saw some strange activity and I don't know what to do. Can you help me, please? Yeah, of course, we can help you with that. Thank you. What information do you need from me to get this sorted out? Uh, can I get your account number and your name, please? Sure. My account number is 123456, and my name is Alex Johnson. Please, I really need to secure my account. All right, thank you for that information. We'll get you straightened out. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> So like how, like how cool is that? I mean, doesn't that make a big difference? Like when you're trying to when you're trying to think about what you're going to say back, like there is some kind of more like, what's the word for it? It's like visceral kind of like, I don't know, like much more human. Human, yeah. <laughs> but it's powerful. I mean, you can imagine like during, during those, I was think back to when I was at Domino's and I think one of the training exercises we did was somebody calling in to cancel and they're being very rude and we had to like learn how to deal with that situation. This is much more my training's be more effective because I'm going to have some of those same feelings going through this this exercise. Yeah, you can you can hear the panic in their voice and you your immediate response is to try to de-escalate the yeah. situation. Yeah, or in my case, the, the guy was being so demanding. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll cancel you right away, sir. So we've seen a bunch of really cool stuff that this thing can do. There's no API at the moment, so we can't program against it, but still like, you know, preparing for a debate, um, dealing with anxious customers, um, practicing speaking Spanish and having it slow down for me. Um, there, there's still lots of really, really cool use cases and forward looking, I'm sure, as more of this gets rolled out, there'll be more capabilities with it. Um, I'd be really curious what everybody else is using this for, different ways you found to help educate yourself or train for a different scenario or even just have fun and have it read a cool story to your kids before going to bed at night. Let us know in the comments what use cases you found and what you're excited about for the future.